Hey everyone and welcome to week 35 of my OLED burning test on my LG C9 OLED. As with all the recent videos what we'll do is we'll start with the hours usage so UTT showing just there we've got 1408 so 1408 hours uh, OLED complication count is 268 for the mini pixel refresher and one for the major pixel refresher. Right so with that I will exit out of this and just restart the test. So first thing I'll do is just make sure we're in focus and the exposure is correct. Just about there. Okay, so usage for the past week has been mainly gaming. Um, from the point when I actually recorded the video, which was, I believe it was on a Saturday morning, um, there was roughly about, say, 46 hours of sports, um, basically football, uh, that I watched on the Saturday and the Sunday, and then the rest of the week uh, would have been mainly just gaming. Um, my son has been playing more mixed gaming recently, so the actual usage has been slightly different, um, but it, nevertheless it was still gaming, it's still static content. Um, we did watch a movie last night, so it got a little bit of variation there, but for the most part, um, not many hours put on it in the last week, and also obviously all of these sort of content was very similar. Um, no issues, as you'll see from all of these screens. Um, no signs of burning, no dead pixels, uh, no banding, uh, no vignetting, nothing uh, that was, wasn't was visible um, right from the very start. So um, on some of the grayscale um, slides very early on, uh, there was a little bit of banding that I did notice when I first got the panel. That's when I actually ran the major pixel refresher. So as this screen is just coming out of um, grey, well, black into white. And I'm not sure how it's going to come across on the actual screen um, on the phone because I tend to turn the lights off in order to get uh, the most accurate uh, picture. Um, it tends to dim the phone screen, so it always looks dimmer on the phone screen than it actually ends up recording. Um, but I'm hoping that it does come across um, same as what I'm seeing. Now, as always, I'll just recap as to why I make these videos. So the main reason for making these videos is to give people who are either potentially looking to buy an OLED or somebody who's basically bought an OLED and is having th second thoughts, um, it just help them make a decision in terms of whether this particular type of technology is right for them. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about OLED technology um, from certain YouTubers in particular. And basically, as with all products, you very rarely hear about the good things, you will only ever hear about the bad things. Therefore, the myth of OLED burning and being completely unusable in today's day and age where you've got consoles and you're gaming and you're using it for sports, um, not sports, uh, and also PC usage as well. Now that LG have obviously pushed um, the CX or the C10 series as basically gaming or PC monitors, if you like, with the 48 inch. So for that reason, I just wanted to make this series. Um, that's obviously the first part of it. The second part of it is literally for me to be able to track uh, week by week the progress, um, what the, uh, the performance is like on this particular set. And obviously, while it is, it's, it's a tiny pool, it's literally only one number, um, it's just one set, it will still give people an idea in terms of if you were to use your TV as a normal person does, so I don't baby the TV, we still use it for everything that we want to use it for, then how much life can you expect to get out of it? So as you can see, this is week 35 and it's basically perfect. Um, no, basically a loss of brightness, no... Um, any type of uh, burning or anything. Uh, no image retention, no darker areas, no blooming, nothing like that. Um, it's still basically as good as the day I got it, if, if not better because of that major pixel refresher. Now, when it comes to the mini pixel and major pixel refreshers, there is a little bit of conflict information out there. So some people 
have contacted LG elsewhere in the world, so in America and other places, and they've been told by their sales reps that the best option is to actually go and run uh, manual pixel refreshes every now and then. Uh, that's actually contrary to what I've read and what I've been told, which is the manual one you want to avoid running. Um, basically, it'll automatically run one at 2000 hours. That's basically, you don't really have a choice about that. You can cancel that, but it's not recommended. Uh, your mini pixel refresher, which was the first count that I gave you, um, the idea behind that is for every four hours of consecutive use, the TV will automatically run that mini pixel refresher just to freshen things up and check the panel. That is how it manages to maintain um, equal equal pixels across the whole panel. That's why you don't see any burning because it's literally every time you're using this for more than four hours, it's gonna do checks for you. So the idea is just leave the TV to it and let it do what it needs to do. Um, as long as you keep your uh, pixel shift and your logo luminance and all those kind of things enabled, you don't need to worry about it. Um, running it manually will, in my from what I've I've read, will just decrease the life of the the panel because essentially what it's doing is it's normalizing the voltage across all the pixels, and obviously it can't increase it. So the only thing I I think uh, it can do is obviously decrease it. So obviously if it noticed that certain pixel areas are lower than the ones around it, it's going to decrease those in order to match up. So. I'm not 100 percent sure if that's exactly how it's done that's what it used to be on older technologies like plasma um, but obviously it's it's something where if you know that it could affect it then you don't want to be doing that okay so that's the end of the video as we say everything looks good so i will see you in the next one